Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be painting outdoors and I've chosen this little area just in, outside of my garden. I've got some lovely poppies, California poppies. I've got my box, paint, Gorilla Painter box, especially made for outdoor painting. They're really good, very well made. Um, at the top here you can adjust and if you can see that, pull that off. This part here, that's usually clipped in to hold that in place. And you just unclip that. It's very hard to do with one hand. Here we go. And then you can adjust putting your canvas on like that. I've got this little part here that comes out and you can put it in any of these holes. And I'll just bring that down. And you can tighten it up by pushing that lever back in. I've got a few paints here. I've got some more over here in this bag. I've got my brushes out. These are quite handy, these little brush pouches for outdoor painting. I've also got some paper towels and some more paints in here, some linseed oil in case the paint gets a bit dry. Uh, I'm just going to use a lid to put my linseed oil in. And over here I've got my palette with all some different colours on. I always like to put out lots of colour because during palette knife painting you it's nice if you don't get interrupted by having to put more colour out. You kind of get into a nice flow state and you just want to keep painting. So it's nice to have lots of colour available. Okay, I'm just going to set up my camera now. I'll be back in a minute. To put your Gorilla box onto, your Gorilla Painter onto a camera stand, you need your shoe just put it underneath. Straighten that. And now it's ready just to go on top of your camera stand. Okay, I'm ready to begin. I think I'm just going to sit down at this instance because I want to be right amongst all the flowers and to see the view that I want to paint is, is actually easier to see from by sitting down. Okay, let's have some fun. I've already got a bit of an outline here, so from a previous starting. I started out with a red under, underground acrylic red, let that dry, and then I've done a little sketch over top of it. So now I'm just going to observe the landscape and just show you from this viewpoint. Pretty nice view. Got lots of bees out as well, which is nice. Such a warm day, autumn day. Just make sure that's tight so it doesn't move. Okay, to start with, I think I always start from the top and work my way down. Light blues. Just doing a bit of sky stuff. I'm using a longer palette knife today because um, I'll probably switch around a bit with the palette knife. This one here is the one I usually use. It's one of my favourite ones, but 
This is fun as well. And it sort of makes you a bit looser. And we've got quite a nice blue sky. Might need a bit of white in there as well. Clouds. Gonna get my brush, dip it in a bit of. I've got my uh, little bit of linseed oil just to help spread things around a bit. I'm just gonna connect all some of this colour. I wanna leave some of my texture in there as well though, so I'm not going over all of it. I'll bring it down into the mountain a bit because we'll go back up over that but it'd be nice to just come down into that a little bit. And really when you're out painting outdoors you need to sort of squint at the landscape a bit to help you define the colours and the shadows and the lights and darks. And Help you see everything a bit easier. This is just a bit of Naples yellow. Colours that you see in the landscape are reflected into the sky. So I like to add a bit of whatever I'm putting in the landscape and put into the sky as well. And the mountain colour. Hmm, might put a bit of violet in there. Just going to get a bit more violet. This colour here, violet cobalt. I might make, I want to have a few more darks in the mountain as well. The shadow colour. It's slightly darker violet and this is a bit of Prussian blue. It's not going to be the main, you know, focal point so I think I'll just put a little bit of that maple's yellow in it as well. And violet. I'm going to paint that edge a little bit better. Off in some little areas. Right, um, squinting at the landscape again, I can see really light sort of colours at the background here. A bit of, a bit of dried paint. So I'm just going to drag that across. I'm going to put a bit of this yellow ochre in. You see lots of greens in the distance as well. Some light greens. Right, take that up into the hill a little. So I'm going to add 
dark green still here. I think I'll just put some more pebbles in here as well. my brush and a slightly bigger brush because I want to spread the paint around a bit quickly. You can just get some colour in there as a background. going around my flowers. Just getting very loose. It's just easier to palette knife where, when you have, have some wet paint underneath as well. I want the flowers to go. Also, looking at the flowers and uh, trying to get the right shapes in there. I think I could start using my poet knife a bit more now. I also want to put some uh, different grasses in there. Might be a bit too red. I just mixed a bit of red with some of these bright Cadian orange. green with yellow to make some nice sort of grassy colours. And I want a lighter sort of stalky looking grass. It's autumn and there's lots of stalky dried up bits of grass at the moment. if we go over the flowers a bit because we're going to go back in there anyway. And put some more greens. Putting on the Loading up my palette knife quite a lot now to get the flowers on. Going up into this here helps connect. In fact, I want to bring it even higher, a little bit higher. that are in the middle. 
I'm going to make quite a lighter shade. I want to put some highlights into this uh, flowers here. So I'm just going to mix, mix in yellow and orange. I've made a nice sort of lighter colour. I'm just going to put a little bit of that on top. Definitely needing some more of my coating yellow, it's called actually. <laughs> Let's see. my palette knife gets a bit too much mixture of colour like I've got too much dark with my Acadian yellow so that would actually just not that would just cause a bit of muddy looking colour if I keep that on there so I just wipe it off and then reload my palette knife. Again you do with palette painting you do waste a bit of paint but I don't see it as wasting really it's just it's part of the process out this colour Indian red. got a, a small brush, it's um, called a rigger brush, and they're very handy for doing fine work. I've just dipped it into my um, linseed oil, and I'm going to just create some finer marks. My camera stopped so sorry about that but this is the finished painting here and I just added a few more colours, uh, grasses in the front. You can see the texture there. And it was fun. So I hope you enjoyed watching this.
and I'm going to be doing some more soon so I'll see you then. Thanks, bye.